If you have bad knees or are just wanting to protect your knees because you leave the ground a lot doing jumps or running or anything else, it may be that what you need to do is actually strengthen the muscles around your hips. I have a short video for you today to do just that. To do today's workout, you will need one resistance loop. I like to use loops if you have TheraBands from physical therapy or any other kind of resistance that you can place around your knees, that will work just fine. You'll also have an optional uh, use for a lighter weight, five to eight pounds. Okay, to begin, you're gonna take your loop. I like to take my hands on the middle of it and open it wide so I can put both feet in. So my trick is to do one leg, keep it nice and wide, and then pull it out and put the other one in. Sometimes these loops have a tendency to roll up, and in fact, I almost feel mine doing that. That's okay, it's just uncomfortable, but it's not necessarily harmful. We'll come to one side, take your feet about hip width apart, come down in a small squat, and take five nice steps to one side, and then five to the other. What is your upper body doing? Well, your shoulders are staying back and your chest is staying out. So you don't wanna hunch over, you really wanna pull up that rib cage as you go. My steps are a little bit shorter here so I can stay within the frame. If you wanna take longer steps or even if you wanna take more like 10 steps one way and then 10 steps the other, that is just fine. We're just trying to activate this gluteus medius which helps support that knee. One more time here. Great job. We'll go down to the ground so I will meet you there. For this next movement, we're going to continue working on those smaller glute muscles. So take yourself down. I want you to pretend like you're on the edge of your mat, or if you have a wall to prop yourself up against, you can do that. So we'll take your feet, your rear, and your shoulder all aligned with the back. Squeeze that top glute and open and close your knee. Your toes are staying together and keep squeezing that glute as you open. I don't need you to go all the way open and all the way close. We are activating, and if you will kind of envision that muscle contracting, opening up that knee and going down, that's going to be a secret sauce. Now again, keep everything aligned. It's real easy to do this or to keep your hip back. So if you are noticing that you're opening your hip back, Put yourself up against a wall and that will keep you from opening up. Let's go over to the other side. And as you can see here, I don't have a ton of room, but I've got enough. Okay, so my feet's up against the wall, my rear, my shoulders, squeezing that glute, opening up just a little bit. What we're doing here is we are strengthening this gluteus medius muscle as well as the gluteus minimus in the back, and that will help keep our femur in line when we are jumping, when we are walking or running or anything else. So you want to keep that thigh bone, your femur in line, so that way it doesn't uh, cave in. That happens often when we are weak in these smaller mini muscles, and that will actually help support your knees, believe it or not. Do two more here, and release. Okay, let's sit up. We're going to take the loop off and head over to our hands and knees. Go down to your elbows. You're gonna have your elbows right below your shoulders, and then lift one foot up and just start pulsing. Now again, I want you to envision that this muscle is the one that's doing all the work. So you're lifting up. I like to flex my heel and lift it up to the ceiling. Your ears are in line with your shoulders. Don't let it drop down here and you don't wanna arch your back. That can hurt your lower back as well. I like to kind of keep my hands together. If you wanna make them fist, that's okay too. And keep that supporting knee right under your hip, not leaning into it. So keep that in, okay. There's one, we're gonna do the other one, and I'm gonna show you this one with a weight. So you can put that in the crook of your knee. Again, going down on those elbows, clasp your hands together if that's what you want. 
Keep your knee right underneath your hip and we'll go up and just pulse it. So everything we're doing here is 40 seconds. Be sure to meet your body where it is. So if 40 seconds is too long, you don't have to go the full 40 seconds. Shorten it up some. Maybe it's not long enough. Well, you can go a little bit longer if you want, or you can do this whole thing again, because we are at the very end and we've got this last movement. And I don't know about you, but I am feeling some fire with this weight here. So watch that hip, keep it right above your knee, not leaning in. We've got three, two, one, good job. All right, take that down and let's just kind of stretch out. I like to take my hips one to the other. You can make a circle if you want, a half moon. Respond to what you need. All right, good job. These simple, small movements truly will help support your knees. So keep doing them and I would love it if you would do it about two to three times a week. That's all for today. Go out there and have a great day.